Yes, sir. Can you cook? Look at the knife skills. Yeah, this is crazy. 20 bucks says I can kickflip this little skateboard. 15 seconds left. I love how when you look at it, you have no idea it's a hot dog. Oh, I like the angle. 45 degree angle, watch those fingers. We're on the beach, my boy Drew Free. And I got a craving for a hot dog. Challenge is, I forgot all the hot dog buns, so you have to make a better not dog. Anything but a hot dog bun, you gotta make a better one than me. And if you can do that, I'll give you $100. All right, and to get it started, I'm gonna make the first dog, set the bar really high. All right, Eli, ready? On your marks, get set, go. All right, on. Oh, yeah, that's smart, start with a hot dog. I'm gonna start with a hot dog. Yeah. Smells good. So here's how Kitchen League Street works. It's a cooking competition where you're always competing against the last guy. Stuff the Twinkie with the uh, weenies? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. If the next person can cook something better than my Twinkie dog, Drew's gonna give them $100. When's the last time you had a Twinkie? Big? Oh, cookies are so good. Try not to eat a lot of bacon anymore, but... How come? A friend of mine told me it's like cigarettes. So bacon gets in your lungs? It's a... <laughs> 30 seconds? This is bigger than the Twinkie. I don't think this is gonna fit. Oh. We have a hot dog bun. All right, now cut that to size. Oh. Boom. Oh. No! Oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh, all right. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. It's called the Twinkie dog. Like every good, iconic creation, sometimes you have to take a few different paths to get to where we are today. That a Twinkie is but a closed hot dog. Yeah. Split that open, we put a bigger dog in there. Yeah, I didn't think the big dog was ever gonna... It didn't fit that way. Yeah. You know, we, you get it. Sometimes was... it doesn't fit and you just have to find another way in. Yeah. And so we found it. True, and it so... happens to me all the time. <laughs> I can't, I'm saying. So I actually think it looks really nice. I do like the green, I like the the colors look good. The one part I do, uh, well, <laughs> the weenie has a little pre-cum here, which I don't, I don't love. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. It's not that it's good right now. If you made it right, it could be really good. I've seen some of the people going by here. It looks like I'm going home with this $100. All right, hey, let's go find some people on the street, see if anyone can beat it. So. All right, let's do it. Good, sir. We have a setup right there. Okay. We just want you to make a better dog than the last person who cooked. Oh, easy. All right, come on in, come on in. We're here with Mike. Mike, we're gonna give you 10 minutes to make a hot dog better than the last person. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna count you down. Three, two, one, get cooking. All right, we're gonna start off. A little butter. A little butter. Yeah. Bacon on the dog. We're gonna load it up. We're gonna go double bun. It's gonna make it look like a sandwich, you think? Like a sandwich. All right. Oh. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, yeah. No, I, don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, nacho it up. What do you think about that, Drew? Just going nacho cheese. Nacho cheese, more sauce, man. <laughs> you knew a lot about cooking, but what do you do for a living? I'm a marketing guy. Marketing like, guy? Yeah, but you know, you gotta cook, gotta eat, right? You gotta eat. You gotta, you gotta eat. eat. I can market you. What? what? Uh, All right, fix me then. Fix me then. What is this? This is like a billboard, a blank canvas. What's he got? Yeah. What's he? What's he got? I'm good at pickleball. There it is. We put a little, little, little tennis, a little court right there. Yeah, a little court right there. What about you? I'm, I'm, I'm all right at rollerblading. I can rollerblade. Okay. Uh, can't work with that. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have so little potential between the two of us, dude. All right. <laughs> Oh, heck yeah, dude. I'd love to twirl the board for you. I love how big it is. Oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. That would have been such a disaster. All right, ready? 20 bucks says I can kickflip this little skateboard. Oh. Great job. Thanks. You did it. Thanks. This is gonna be good. Oh, this is starting to smell like those street carts. That's like, that's my favorite type of hot yeah. dog. Oh, I love that onion, looks good. Oh, oh yeah. Little bacon. Little bacon. And then uh, we're gonna fold over. Seconds. We're gonna fold it over? Fold it over, fold it over. Hey, what do you got, Mike? Hey, seven, six. Give it a bite, give it a bite, Look give it a that. bite. All right, Mike just made us this. Uh... Bandage, bandage, let's call it bandage, let's call it bandage. I love how when you look at it, you have no idea it's a hot dog. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mustard's really coming through. Get a little sausage. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you I like that. A little red rocket. We're going to go talk about this and see if Mike made a better hot dog than the last person. God. What did you think? Is he going to win? Well, the guy's a complete maniac with sauces. <laughs> he just I do, just every sauce. He said the bread was soggy, so it was like a bun. Bun and soggy. So he kind of felt like soggy bread. We had some. Sausage on one end, we had some bacon on the other. I mean, typically you want a sandwich that's even, every bite 
tastes as good as the last. This one's, like I said over there, more of a choose your own adventure. Like every bite's different. I like that he kept it as one hot dog, but it was also swirling around in the bread. What do you think compared it to the last? Good, though. It had bacon. He liked it. They were smiling. I feel pretty good. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to decide up there, I guess. Hey, decide up there, man. All right. There we go. How do you feel you did? I felt like I looked at your eyes. I saw satisfaction. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go against my gut. Okay. You just had a sandwich. And give you a hundred dollars. Oh! 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 Damn. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Oh, Can you hear this? Congrats, oh, Mike. Thank you, you guys. You did great. You did great. Thank you, guys. Really Tell well your friends. Done. Really well done. Market us after. All right, guys, let's go find the next person who can make a hot dog for a hundred dollars. Do you know how to cook? Oh, it's okay. okay. It's okay, I had a hundred dollars, but it's okay. If you can cook a good hot dog, you get $100. If it's good, he's the judge. Do you want to do it? How much time would this take? You get 10 minutes. What do you think about like carcinogens? Do you like it burned? Oh, I love carcinogens, typically. Too, Historically, too. I love carcinogens. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. just down. Right. Okay. Right. Shit. All right, let's go. All right, let's do it. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. On Earth. We're at the beach again. Yeah. We're with? Claire. 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 And Claire is gonna have 10 minutes to cook us a hot dog, but we don't have buns. Three, two, one, go yeah. for it. Yeah. -na 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 -na. I should so, imagine music. I it's do a like hot dog, but it's gonna be like a classic dish, so it's like, gonna be unexpected. Yeah. Honestly, when you asked me to cook, I thought you were like, asked me to do a dance move. Oh. So yeah. that's why I was like, no. Oh. <laughs> I get it. People walk up on you on the street with like a little, yeah, you know, the Gen, Z, Gen Z mic. Little weenies. The that's cocktail perfect. weenies. Little weenies. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Are you gonna eat that? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. Claire, what do you do for a living? I'm an engineer. You're an engineer. Yes. Okay. What do you engineer? Um, right now I'm like doing this rotational thing, so I'm doing like supply chain stuff right now. When okay. was the when was the last time you had boiled bacon and wieners? I don't think I've ever done that. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you're venturing into new territory. Yeah, yeah. There's also salt and vinegar chips. I don't know if that helps. Mm, that actually does sound good. Okay. I'm okay, some seasoning. Okay. Hot sauce. Shalula never hurt nobody. You're, like you're becoming a little unhinged. Yeah. This is this is what we Trust wanted to it. see. This is it. good. Look All right. at that, dude. Little Lego All stack. Right. Pan. <laughs> ah. uh, leaning tower, a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What the? <laughs> oh, I like the angle. 45 degree angle. Watch those fingers. Okay. 15 seconds left. Nice. Okay. We got the Mac. Mixing it together. I'm okay. nervous. Okay. Five, four, three. three. Two, Two, one, one. just in time. Wow, a little pinch of salt. Wow. <laughs> Damn. All right. It's talk to us talk to about your day. Okay, at? guys, so I wanted to do a classic spin on like maybe something you ate when you were a kid. Mm. Um, not really a hot dog, but it's weenies and mac. What do they call that? Mm -hmm. um, just like, don't look at it, just try it. You know when you go to like a really fancy restaurant and they only give you like the tiniest bit of food? It's like that if it was like a bad restaurant. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I think that was nice. But, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but I am excited about it. I mean, this can't be bad, right? That's good. It's good. Really? I hate that. It's good, but it's, it's good. pretty good. What? All right, Claire, <laughs> we're going to go talk about this in private and find out if you are deserving of that $100 compared to the last person, right? Okay. All right, hang tight. have to give us a second, all right? Okay. I think it's really good. My only problem is how small it is. I uh, know. I mean, she didn't even fill up the mac and cheese, like, container. She could have just put the rest of the mac in there. She had enough. She just didn't do it. Did she? I didn't see that. But it tasted tasted good. It tastes so good. The yeah. seasoning's really good. I love that little dash of hot sauce that you can't even really tell is in it, but I can feel it still on my lips. Yeah. They seem pleasantly surprised, so I'm kind of feeling like I'm gonna get that $100, hopefully. But that last dash of salt was just a little bit too much. Yeah. And I think, you know, I want a big bowl of it. I think maybe if there was a big bowl of it, it would get too, to be too much as you ate it. Well, look at us, she's left us wanting more. So what do you think, she's, she's gonna win? Uh, we'll have to see. Alright, let's find out. We both agreed that it tasted really good, really well seasoned. I don't know if the seasoning would get to be too much, but considering the size, I regret to inform you that you're going to be finishing your run with a big stack of cash. Congratulations, Claire. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats.
Guys, we're gonna hit the streets again. We're gonna find another person who can hopefully beat Claire's dish. Can you make a not dog? A not dog is a hot dog, but I forgot all the buns at home, so you just have to get creative. Okay, all right. All right, we're in, let's go, we're here. We're here with Erin. Erin, she's gonna have 10 minutes to make us a not dog dish. Three, two, one, Godspeed. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a take on a sloppy joe. This is the fastest anyone's gotten into cooking on this show. Just right into yeah, it. Yeah, this knife work's freaking me out, man. Erin, do you cook a lot? I do, I, I dabble in some cooking. You dabble uh, in some cooking? Yeah. You do it for a living? What do you do for a living? It's on. Um, I'm an event producer. An event producer. What do you think of this event? We do a good job? I think it's so far so good. You gotta say, no one's using any of these Italian meats. Okay. Everyone's forgetting about yeah, it. Forget you know what? About I'll, pop it. Little, I'll, I'll pop a little prosciutto in there. Oh, a little yeah. prosciutto in there. Yeah. A little Sweet prosciutto. Flavor. Look at the knife skills. Yeah, this is crazy. What, uh, how'd you learn a knife like that? You know, I watch a lot of Food Network. <laughs> Erin, so where, where are you from? Um, I currently live in Cerritos, California, but I'm from New Jersey. What's yep. Gabagool? <laughs> Oof. I think a Gabagool is someone who, like a Goomba Johnny, like someone who really just eats and eats Wait a minute. Eats and <laughs> eats and eats. <laughs> this is another yeah. word. I don't know the, the What's definition a gabagool? of it. It's like a Jeeba Gabba. Oh, shit. So we're opening a new can at the end. At least it's already chopped up. Okay, Aaron's Aaron's gliding through right now. It is sloppy. Oh, it's sloppy. That's oh. it's in the name. It's oh, in the wow. name. Okay, we got the acid going. Three, make it two, sloppier. one. Step away Woo! from the sloppy Drew. Wow. Give it up for Aaron, everybody. What I have prepared for you on this cutting board is my take on a sloppy Joe. There is chopped mango in there. Um, banana peppers and pickles and just some lettuce. I love you plated it right on the cutting board. Sloppy, I love leaning. That. Sloppy, sloppy, makes sense. Look, Cheers. That's a really unique look right It's definitely, it's very sloppy. All right. Oh. I think we need to take a second together and, and talk about this in yeah, private. Yeah, I think that would be. Yeah, you hang tight here. We're gonna go deliberate, find out if uh, this dish beats the last person's dish, so. The concept is the most unique one we saw all day. It's the most unique one, like a sloppy joe made of hot dogs. I've never seen that just like regularly. Yeah. That's crazy. I just didn't think it tasted good. Hot dog needs its best when it has a lot of toppings and different flavors. So I thought if I did some kind of a slaw, like a sauerkraut style thing, but maybe I shouldn't have done the lettuce. That's the thing. Who do you want on your team long term? Like I think Aaron did a great job of cooking. Like I would want her on my team cooking right. more, but in terms of just a pure dish that I would want to eat. Yeah. It's a tough decision. I'm kind of, to be honest with you, I'm right down the middle. I just... Drew, how did Aaron do? I love how many ingredients you used. I, myself, am not really like a sweet with my... I don't really like sweet with my savory, but I am pleased to inform you that you uh, don't have to figure out where to put this money because you didn't win. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Bummer. Sometimes um, that is how the sloppy Joe falls falls on the cutting I, board. I really did like your dish. It just, I wish I could reward you for the, you know what I mean? Like the creativity and the attempt, but you unfortunately- could've, You could have just given her the hundred, but you, you didn't. Yeah. So as I said- On second thought, actually, Drew's, on second thought, Drew, I'm gonna keep the hundred dollars. Okay. Aaron, thank you so much. Of Guys, course. you never know what can happen on Kitchen Lee so Street. Much. Good. And uh, you, you, did really good. Good you did good. You did good. Not good. Not super good. I mean, it was good. so close. That's a wrap on Not Dogs here in Huntington Beach. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who competed. Drew, thanks for being here. You get your fill. Great. It was a great time. Great appetizer. All right. Some people won, some people lost. But let us know what city we should pop up in next. If you have a fun spot, let me know in the comments. Until then, please keep following the Foodbees page. Thank you guys so much for hanging with us. And I'll see you next time.